Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So there has been a lot of hype about solid state batteries. And we do hear that solid state batteries will make Tesla's batteries obsolete. And there are also some other breakthrough batteries we hear of all the time like diamond batteries that will make your car go for years before it has to be charged. But in today's video we are going to take a look at solid state and other breakthrough batteries to see how good they actually are and when can we expect to see them in cars and most importantly when will we see them at scale because in the end that is all that matters. And will this new technology really be able to hurt Tesla? Well. Let's take a look and let's dive right in. So solid state batteries are looked at by many like the holy grail when it comes to battery technology. But it is not just given. If you have a solid state battery, it will by definition be much better than for example Tesla's lithium ion battery. Because we do actually already have solid state batteries in electric vehicles today. Mercedes does have their electric bus, the E-Citaro, that has solid state batteries. But this bus only drives about 220 kilometers on one charge of their 441 kilowatt hour battery pack. And only seems to drive 20 to 25 percent longer than the old lithium ion battery pack in the bus. So this solid state battery does not really seem any better than what Tesla has revealed with their 4680 cell. So not every solid state battery is just magically going to be magnitudes better than the current battery technology. But QuantumScape has just revealed some specs and expectation of their new solid state battery breakthrough. And they have JB Straubel, co-founder of Tesla, on their board, so should definitely take these guys seriously. But how good is their solid state battery? Well, they did show us some specs in their recent presentation and they do expect to have an energy density of 350 to 500 megawatt per kilogram and can charge an electric car from 0 to 80 under 15 minutes and price reduction from conventional lithium ion battery about 17%. Of course, safer than lithium ion batteries because they do not have any liquid electrolytes. Should have a very long lifespan and they expect to have mass production of about 91 gigawatt hours in 2028. So how does this compare to Tesla's new battery cell, the 4680? Well, the energy density is a bit higher. Tesla is right now about 300 watt hours per kilogram, but Elon has been saying that they expect to be over 400 watt hour per kilogram within the next three to four years. So before QuantumScape solid state battery comes out, Tesla's battery will have something very similar or maybe even better since the over 400 watt hour per kilogram is already within the next three to four years and Tesla will definitely continue innovating on the battery front and probably have even more energy dense battery in 2028 that is eight years from now. So the energy density doesn't really seem to be such a big breakthrough as QuantumScape want it to look like, but definitely better than most lithium ion batteries for sure. And the charging speed of 0 to 80% in 15 minutes or a bit less doesn't really seem to be that impressive. Tesla can already put 225 miles of range in their cars in just 15 minutes with their version 3 superchargers. And I do expect them to make that better and better as time goes by. And as I have made a whole video about, I do think Tesla is working on some crazy charging speeds, maybe for their Cybertruck first, as Elon did tweet that the 350 kilowatt chargers that Porsche was working on was a chill toy. So I do think they will be able to charge just as fast in maybe five years time as QuantumScape solid state battery or maybe much faster. 
because as Jordan from the Limiting Factor explained in his great video about fast charging, Tesla's new silicon may be the secret to much faster charging. As he explained, the new battery with maybe 30% silicon could be able to make a 4C charging rate, which means that it can charge from 0 to 100% in just 15 minutes. So it would be able to make a quick top off from 30 to 80% in just 5 minutes. So Tesla's new 4680 cell will maybe in the future be able to charge even faster than this solid state battery. And at that point it's no longer about the battery, but the chargers. That will be the limiting factor to how fast you can charge your electric car. So it doesn't really sound like a crazy breakthrough either in the charging with the quantum scape solid state battery. And the longer lifespan I don't really see as that important since Tesla's 4680 cell is already a 2 million mile battery. Do we really need longer lifespan than that? And from what I could see, it didn't even look like the solid state battery had a longer lifespan than the 4680. But for me, this really doesn't matter much because Tesla's batteries are already better than pretty much what we need them to be. But safety of the battery is definitely something that is always welcome. But when we look at the fires Tesla has had, it is already a very, very safe battery pack and definitely many times more safe than ice cars that catch fires all the time all over the world. So a welcome feature of course that the battery is maybe safer but not something that is going to blow our minds. And the 17% reduction is priced from conventional lithium ion battery and we do know that is not Tesla's battery they are comparing to. So maybe this solid state battery won't even be much cheaper than Tesla's current battery technology but will definitely not be cheaper than the 4680 cell. That will be 56% cheaper than what Tesla currently have that is already the cheapest on the market. Now that is a breakthrough. So I don't think they can even match the Tesla battery on price in 2028. And Tesla's battery will probably be even cheaper in 2028 because of the economy of scale. Because Tesla will produce much more batteries than QuantumScape in 2028 or 2030 for that matter. And this is where solid state and many other big breakthroughs in battery technology always seems to fall short. Because there have been even bigger claims out there of batteries where you only need to charge your car every second year. Because of battery technology like diamond batteries, the American company NDB, which headquarters is only 20 minutes away from Tesla's in California, so if they do have a breakthrough, I think they would probably just go over and knock on Tesla's door trying to sell their new breakthrough. But they are working on a diamond battery. This is supposed to hold so much energy that you only need to charge your car every second year. But even though it all sounds good, it is still only in the lab and decades away from production on any scale, if it ever comes out of course. But it shows that there are being worked on many types of battery, not only solid state and lithium, but many, many different kind of battery. But the problem with them all is they are still only in the lab and it will be years before they come out in production. And then the real question is, can they be made at scale or they don't really matter at all? Because quantum scale is probably the one that is closest, even though Fisker has been saying for years they will come out with an EV with a solid state battery in 2020. But now they're saying 2022, but Fisker still have to show us anything really to come out in real life and as we know with Mercedes solid state battery it is not for certain that a solid state battery will just be magnitudes better than what we already have on the market and quantum scale that is so far ahead with the technology that they have a whole plan laid out in front of them and they have now shared that plan with us it is still five years out before they really start any type of real production and the batteries that are coming out in 2025 will definitely be going into some Volkswagen's EV because they do 
have a partnership with Volkswagen and Volkswagen have been saying they will have a solid state battery in some of their cars in 2025. But as I said, the most important thing is can it be scaled up? Because Tesla's battery has really been engineered from the ground up, taking everything into calculation, even the mining process that Tesla also went into, but also how cheap they can build the factories, how little footprint the factories make, and the batteries themselves has been engineered to be cheap and fast to produce and easy to scale up. And even though it sounds great with solid state batteries like the ones from QuantumScape, they were only producing about 91 gigawatt hours in 2028. Tesla expects to be at 3 thousand gigawatt production in 2030 only two years later so tesla will probably already be over 2000 gigawatt in 2028 that is more than 20 times the production capacity than quantumscape so this production from quantumscape is definitely not going to tip the scale in batteries in this decade maybe they will see production capacity in the next decade that matters but that is just so far into the future it's even hard to imagine what else will be invented at that point and what Tesla will be able to come out with in 10 years time. Just look back at what Tesla has delivered the last 10 years and I do not expect them to slow down. So yeah, maybe QuantumScape or other battery companies are going to come up with some kind of breakthrough as we see and hear about all the time. But it will not be something that will be mass produced in such a scale that matters in the EV industry because quantum scrape production in 2028 will only be enough for about 1 or 1.5 million vehicles. And at that point, Tesla will have battery production big enough to put into 25 million cars. If they can produce that many cars, that point is a different matter, but they will have the batteries to do so. And the whole car industry is about 90 million cars sold every year. So for QuantumScape to make batteries for 1 million is not really going to matter much in 2028. The most important thing is scale of production. And so far, only Tesla has a plan to make batteries in the thousands of gigawatts in this decade. You can come out with a 10,000 mile range battery if you want to, but if you can only make enough batteries for a thousand cars, it doesn't matter at all. So maybe we will see some breakthrough in solid state, but I really don't believe it will be anything that matters in this decade. And even if they do, it generally takes the automakers five years to develop a new car that can use such a new powertrain technology. It might take less time to adapt existing models to new battery packs with new chemistries, but still it won't happen overnight. It will take years and the automakers don't really have that many electric cars yet. And just look at the timeline QuantumScape has planned. They have the technology now in the lab, but they don't expect to have this in any car before five years from now. So I think it's all very promising and solid state might be the future, but it will not be something we will see in volume production in cars in this decade, in my opinion, of course. But what do you think? Do you think any of these many new breakthroughs would be able to produce in volumes that matters in this decade? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.